awarded £64 million, the National Institute for Health and Care Research, Manchester Biomedical Research Centre, brings together world-leading researchers based at six NHS trusts and the University of Manchester to drive health improvements and lasting change for all. Transforming scientific breakthroughs into new diagnostic tests and life-saving treatments, we deliver cutting-edge research to improve lives within 13 different themes grouped into four clusters. Let's hear from Professor Maya Butch about what our researchers from the Advanced Diagnostics and Therapeutics Catalyst Cluster are working on. So this cluster comprises two themes. The first is called Next Generation Phenotyping and Diagnostics, and the second is Next Generation Therapeutics. And as those names suggest, it's all about being able to diagnose diseases effectively and being able to identify new treatments for conditions. We're really keen through this cluster to be able to tackle a range of diseases that affect different kinds of populations to improve their health outcomes. And what we wish to try and do is also in being able to develop new therapies and new tests, make sure that there's good access for all people so we can reduce health inequity. Through the next generation phenotyping and diagnostics, the wish is that we'll be able to diagnose conditions earlier. And by doing that, it means that we detect disease earlier. We can start managing and treating patients more effectively to improve their outcomes. The Next Generation Phenotyping Diagnostics includes a group of experts, what we call bioinformaticians. They're the individuals that really are capable of analysing complex data, whether it's from blood, whether it's from tissue, whether it's from imaging and scans and putting it all together. But it means there are some general principles in those analysis and methods techniques that are developed that can be applied across different conditions uh, across the cluster. And so we will be promoting and informing and educating our wider group of researchers through that expert group. There's a whole piece of work um, looking at complex data in different types of cancers, particularly, for example, prostate cancer uh, that has a big impact uh, in our society. And again, this is working across the cluster with cancer. Through the next generation therapeutics, it's very much about identifying new therapies. As much as there have been so many advances in medical care and treatment, there are various populations of patients and diseases where there's a big unmet need. Here, we're really going to be encouraging and supporting therapies that involve different materials and different devices that can also be used as ways of treating diseases. Often these are complex, often these are expensive, and Often, what's not done in the early stage is assessing the likelihood of success. So there is a whole health economics, so understanding the economics of these kinds of tests, treatments and therapies, the likelihood of them succeeding and the impact it's going to have, not just on the individual, but the wider society. So in Next Generation Therapeutics, particularly, we're also working with the Rare Conditions theme. Um, for example, working in a condition called Wolman syndrome that affects children. We are also working with, again, um, cancer to see whether can develop a graphene method of delivering an enzyme that children are deficient in. And similarly, in that graphene space, there's um, a nice piece of work in the development of a device to improve um, surgery for brain tumour, to make it more accurate and make it safer for better outcomes. So those are just some examples of how we are working across different conditions and different clusters within the BRC. I'm really excited about this cluster and the future and the promise it holds. There is a lot of scope for transferring the knowledge when it comes to developing new tests and diagnosing effectively for our patients across the BRC and also the way we test new therapies. The other clear benefit with this cluster and the two themes is that we have the capacity and capability to respond to new opportunities. And that holds a lot of promise for our patients. It means over the course of over the five years, if there are exciting opportunities that either industry or our university researchers offer, we have the capability to bring that forwards and pull through. So I'm really excited and look forward to a bright future within this cluster.